All right, good morning, everybody. As you can see, my uh, I've got my cruise control and my autopilot back. I, uh, I was reading all of your comments in the comments section, and <clears throat> I began to think back on, on the timeline of all of this. So uh, let me walk you through the symptoms that I began encountering and the timeline and some just some of the things that I began noticing and what I did to resolve the issue, at least in my in my case here. So this all began, um, let's see, Wednesday. So I've had the uh, the update for a little over two weeks now. And uh, starting, let's see, right now it is Friday. So this would have been, let's see, Tuesday. I noticed that the car was behaving a little bit erratic. Uh, not dangerous. Well, I don't know, maybe it could be considered dangerous. But I, uh, I noticed that autopilot would follow into turn lanes and... Uh, sometimes it would ease toward a turn lane and, and pull back, but it began literally just taking the turn lane and to the point where it was getting irritating. And uh, I know autopilot is meant for the expressway and not through town, and I get it. So I thought, well, whatever. So I just stopped using it through town. But uh, the car was behaving a little bit erratic as far as all of the, uh, the automatic systems were concerned. Now, so that was Tuesday, but it was, I believe, over the weekend, uh, Saturday, that I began using sentry mode and the dash cam uh, features in the car. And uh, it was great, and I was using it and, and that, but uh, that day, Tuesday, when I started having issues with the car behaving erratic, I also noticed that day that the dash cam, the icon was up, but there was a, an X through it. it. It wasn't active. So I pulled the stick out and uh, the USB drive, and I I erased it and put it back in, and the uh, the dash cam came back up, the icon came up. Okay, great. Well, within a couple hours, it was X'd out again, and I erased the card, and it came back up, and it was weird. It was like it was corrupting something about the the dash cam was corrupting my memory card. I also did have it set for auto sentry, where every time I'd get out of the car, I'd have the sentry camera on. And um, so I, I noticed those things again the same day the car was behaving erratic. And then lo and behold, the following day, uh, which would be um, Wednesday, I got up and no autopilot, uh, no... Um, no cruise control, it wasn't recognizing the lane lines or the cars next to me or anything like that. And I decided to give it a day. I, I did try resetting the screen, holding the thumb wheels, that didn't correct it. So the following day, which was when I posted my video yesterday, same thing, it didn't work. I called Tesla, they said, we know there's issues with the update, you know, whatever. So that's when I posted my video and a bunch of you guys gave suggestions on things to try. Now, I did not experiment, let's try one thing and try one more thing and one more thing. I, I really didn't want to take the time. This is my work car, I just wanted to get it going. Uh, you can see by my knee brace here, my knee's been bothering me and so I like to adjust the seat all the way back so I can straighten my leg out and then it makes it a little bit weird. I can reach the pedals, without a problem but it's uncomfortable and so I'd rather just use cruise uh, or set the autopilot so I thought I just want to get it going so I uh, I did the whole thing of hold the thumb wheels till the T comes up reset it I also went into the uh, to the power off mode in the screen which as a sidebar you're supposed to power the screen off by going in into the controls here to power it off and you're supposed it's supposed to not power back on until you hit the brake I did it twice, and both times that I powered it off on the screen, uh, it, it came back on after about two minutes or so on its own without me hitting the brake. Uh, after I did that, I held both thumb wheels and did the reset again, and then on top of that, I turned off the auto sentry mode, and I let the car sit for about an hour after that, and I was doing paperwork in my office, got in the car, and now it's working. So. Uh, thumbs up to you guys. Thanks very much for the uh, for the advice, and I'm curious to see what Tesla does regarding the uh, uh, you know a patch for the software update. So anyway, that's my video for today. Not a whole lot, but figured you guys would get a kick out of seeing what I did to correct it in my car. 
I even had one person in the comment section say, trade it in on a 2019. Yeah, I'm going to trade my car in on it. For one thing, uh, I would lose a fortune. For another thing, uh, I'm at 43,500 miles. My car has depreciated a lot because of the, the miles I've put on it. And on top of all of that, I like having an early car. It's 9,300 and something VIN, and uh, it's uh, it's an early car. I want to I want to play this out and see how long this car is going to last. So, anyway, um, thanks a lot, guys. I've got a couple other videos that I've uh, that I'm shooting and have already shot that I'm editing. So, some interesting stuff coming up this weekend. And uh, oh, and if you're wondering about my knee, it's just I had surgery on this knee close to 30 years ago now and it just uh yeah once in a while it bugs me sometimes the change of the weather or i'll step funny and it'll kind of click and then it'll bother me for a few days so no big deal there but um anyway thanks guys have yourselves a great day Bye bye now